Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, my name's Chris Horsley. I'm from COSIV uh, from Australia. Uh, we were running some MISP training yesterday. If you've been to Australia, you will know it is far. Uh, it was a long way, but it's been a great conference so far. So what I wanted to talk about today was something I'm very passionate about, which is data visualization with uh, threat intelligence and visualizing threat intelligence data. So recently, I, in the last few weeks, I found this data set, and it's done by a guy called uh, Will Thomas, and I think he works for Equifax, possibly. Um, and he had this great data set where he has used different CTR reports to extract the tooling used by different Russian threat actors, and it appears like this. So we've got a table there, uh, and if we pop one layer up, um, we've got discovery tools. So this is a great data set, um, but it immediately put some questions into my mind, like how many threat actors are we tracking and how many tools in total are there? And then the most important one is what are the overlaps between threat actors uh, and the tooling that they use? And I'm a big believer in data visualization really to build something which answers those questions that you have, something we can interactively explore that helps us understand the data better. So rather than just putting it in a pie chart or into a graph, we build something very specific for this data set. So I wanted to quickly show the thing I built for this particular data set. Um, this is built, uh, it's a JavaScript HTML application. It uses a library called viz.js. So what we're looking at is in the middle, we've got a set of threat actors. Um, so we've got 10 of them here. So that answers one of our questions, how many threat actors are there? Uh, so we've got a uh, sandworm here and we've got fancy bear over here. So you can see the first thing it shows us too is it does an aggregation across those different pages of tooling and it shows us what are all the tools that this threat actor uses. The colors there, you can see up the top, donate what type of tool it is. So red is networking, yellow is offensive security. Uh, then what we can do is look at the radius of where the tool is mentioned. So if we were to look at these tools on the outside, these are all used by only one threat actor which is quite interesting because that might help us with attribution um, because if we know that this tool is used by a particular actor and we find it in our environment, that might give us an initial hypothesis to test about, well, is it this threat actor that we're seeing in our environment? So anything here on the outer is a single threat actor. But as we move our way in the circle, we see that it starts to get used by more threat actors. So anything in this ring of the circle is used by two threat actors in this case. And we can see there's a similarity uh, or a crossover between these groups and the tooling they use. A lot of this is very common tooling, mind you. Uh, stuff that you can get from GitHub and the like. I mean, over here, we've got OpenSSH. And right now, we only have one threat actor uh, using that particular tool. When we get to the middle of the circle, we could look at something like um, Mimikatz, and it's used by five threat actors in this case. So another question we could answer from this visualization is if we want the best bang for buck in terms of detection or defense, well, if we were to you know, focus on a tool like Mimikatz or things on the inside ring of this tooling circle, these are the things that might get us the best detection for all these threat actors if we know that we're a particular target um, for say this nation state. But again, it starts to answer some questions about, yeah, where in the data set uh, we're dealing with here. But yeah, like I said, I really like to build these sort of visualizations where we've got something very much crafted to the data set and we're answering those very specific questions. Uh, at any rate, I love talking about data visualization. If anybody here is doing similar work, I'd love to talk to you. Uh, this is on our website, by the way, uh, cosive.com. If you look at our blog, you can find this and play around with the data set. Uh, and I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much.